Gano, welcome back to Game Guides for Fallout 76 and you can see we're at our little um, our little hide in the mountains here and today I wanted to do a follow up game guide um, very early on when I started the game guide series for Fallout 76 we done a kind of introductory video, what I call an int introductory video, easy to say, I know sometimes um, to how to uh, how the stash box worked. Today we're going to do a little bit more of an advanced kind of look at uh, managing your inventory and more specifically when your stash box is starting to get a little bit full. Um, let's see some um, if we can employ some strategies that will help you manage all your items in your stash box. So I hope this is going to be incredibly useful to a lot of you so let's get into it we've been out in the um out in the uh, world all day questing collecting looting collecting stuff and you come back to your camp and this happens start putting things in stash box and suddenly it says uh, your stash box is full right up in the top left and there you go my stash box is full. So how do you get around that? What kind of strategies can you employ to get yourself at that um, problem? I decided to compile a list of things that I personally do. Um, not every time I come back to the camp, some of them at the bottom I don't, but most of them at the top I do. So um, we're going to go through each and every one of these today. It's quite a comprehensive list and I've also um, highlighted the um, benches that you're going to need in your settlement to do this as you can see so we'll, t we'll go through these one by one and uh, we'll talk about them in a little bit more detail so one of the first things i would do if i'm uh, having problems with space is i'd go to the weapons bench and i'd repair all my weapons and um, hopefully i've got the right amount of materials to do that and also make any modifications i can to those weapons just to get rid of some uh, inventory um, from the stash box that's the first thing I would do one of the other things that I also would do which is one that I'm I've had the discipline myself into doing a little bit more is to also do the same uh, or repeat the uh, the same discipline when it comes to armor I'm not used to repairing armor so it's something I've had to do a little bit more often the next thing I would do of course is go to the Tinker's Workbench and I would start to make some ammunition now I run a, a couple of weapons that go through our ammunition fairly quickly the handmade rifle for one which uses 556 five, and the combat rifle that uses 0.45 so go through make yourself a whole heap of ammunition and that should get your stash box down quite a bit obviously you need um, gunpowder um, lead and steel to do that but the other thing you can do if you're really struggling for room in the stash box is to be, go through and do a couple of bulk um, items so things like everything you've got in junk pile like excessive bone shards acid whatever it might be what i suggest is you make a couple of these each just go through and see what you've got excess of Try and figure out what you use a lot and um, and then the others you can just make a couple of uh, these bulk items and go off and sell them to a vendor and um, you, you'll see in a second this makes an absolute huge difference to your stash box when you actually do this um, and um, if you do two uh, a couple each you'll see very quickly it, it will pull your stash box number way down 582 there now speaking of gunpowder you can actually go to the chemistry bench and make your own gunpowder and I, I do this a lot and that's uh, that allows you to um, get rid of some acid and some cloth which again is another good little thing to do obviously if you're like me and you're making ammunition on a regular basis uh, gunpowder is a very key component also lead if you haven't seen the video that goes through and highlights how to get lead quickly please watch that um, it'll be very useful for you so we're down to 580 now um, 
Also in the chemistry workbench, uh, you should be looking at, you can see all those kind of black titanium, uranium ores. You should be using the smelting option in the chemistry bench to get rid of those and, and just uh, take them down to bulk materials. That will also help you. You can see there's not, I don't get any options there, but um, at the moment because I've, I've taken them all down plus any um, fertilizer if you're keeping spoiled fruit spoiled um, meat spoiled vegetables um, then also use that smelting to make your fertilizer now here's an interesting one uh, if you haven't seen the video I've put out the game guide I put out on making your own adhesive watch that one because it's very relevant for what I'm about to do here because this is effectively growing your own adhesive and ad adhesive is a very important component so you can see I've picked all my fruit and again you don't one of the tips that would say even if you've picked fruit and your inventory is full you don't actually need to put the fruit into the inventory to um, make your adhesive it can actually be just sitting in your collection pit boy collection area go to the cooking stove like this say so i haven't stored anything at this point go down to utility there you go vegetable starch and suddenly that will also if if those uh, fruits and stuff are sitting in in your um, starch box that will help to clear those also um, once you've made your vegetable starch, you have to scrap it and then you can put it into your stash box as um, um, adhesive. So the rest of the video is really about uh, inventory management. Go through and be very critical on things like what weapons you're actually using at the moment and what you can get rid of, what um, apparel that you're using and you can get rid of. Um, if you actually haven't used them for a while, or for me, for instance, I uh, don't use melee characters for so for me to have any axes or um, swords or anything like that makes no sense. So um, get rid of those because those will be the ones that are actually filling up your inventory with a lot. Also, if if you really don't need to keep excessive power armor in this game. Um, you know really if you're you're not using it or you know it's you're only level 10 and you've got t51 which is level 40 or something just get rid of it scrap it out um, you only really do need one uh, power armor chassis um, maybe two i've got an x01 and i've got um excavator armor but once you get to level 25 if you can get the excavator armor that's really all you're going to need in the game Another good discipline to get into is go through to your ammunition and just clear out any ammo that you're not going to need. Um, it, it really the excessive ammunition is it, that you, that just sits in your inventory and you're not using. You can see I've got a ton of fusion cores there. You can sell those for money. You'll pick plenty of them up once you get a whole lot of them, and um, lots of those little things will make a huge difference to the the weight in your uh, stash box. Another one of those things that kind of consumes quite a bit of uh, weight is these mods. And you can see I've got a few ready there that I'm going to get rid of. I just don't use these. If you don't use them, you're never going to use them. Get rid of them, sell them. You can sell them at the vendors and make some, some caps. And you can see they're a, a pound a piece. And there's probably, what, eight there? Eight, ten there? So get rid of, get rid of those. Yeah, fusion cells, I'm, I'm probably never going to use. If you, I've got a heap of fusion cores there, etc. These are all sellable items. And the last thing that I would also advise is um, either use your bubble heads or sell them because, again, they will um, they will add up weight-wise and they add about a pound a piece so, to your inventory. So lots of bits and pieces there. But this is really, you're really getting down to uh, desperation stakes when you're looking at these. But again, you got to be pretty um, um, pretty disciplined to say, look, I'm just not using this. You will get your certain weapons that you'll use. You'll get your certain armor that you'll use. And you really need to just kind of not be too precious like you were in Fallout for, for 4. The very last thing that you can do, and it's one that not a lot of people uh, talk about, but um, that is to repair everything in your uh, settlement. And you go to the camp system and hit 
the repair all and that can also help you get rid of some inventory so there you go there's a whole lot of strategies that you can employ to help manage your inventory get your uh, numbers down and make sure it's you know something that is very manageable if you employ a number of those disciplines every time you come back from questing and looting um, you shouldn't have too much troubles in um, keeping your inventory in check and uh, not having to worry about it too much hope this has been useful as ever thanks for supporting the channel and we'll catch you next time on fallout 76 game guides see ya